Hello, thank you so much for joining me. I was going through some old photographs the other evening and I came across one of cubs and scouts and I was taken back to the memory of them saying, Ah, oh, Kayla, I will do my best with great, oh yes, yelled at full belt by lots of little boys as it was at the time. <laughs> but do you do your best? I get cross when people say, oh, I gave 150%. No, your best is 100%. You can't get better than that. It's everything, everything that you have to give. But there are times when or we might say, I did my best, but it wasn't good enough. And yes, that, that sometimes will be the case. Though there are times that maybe that 150% does come in. In times of extremists, people occasionally seem to be given an extra lungful of air if they're under the water, an extra strength to lift things that they wouldn't normally be able to do. But we rarely, as mere human beings, are put into situations like that. So not doing your best is something that you're letting yourself down for. Unless it's something that you don't want to succeed in. But maybe you're going for an interview because somebody said you had to, but you don't really want the job. So you just bumble your way through it and you can come out and say, oh, no, I didn't get the job. Hmm. I'm not sure what I think about that. Not a lot, comes the reply. But for many of us, we do our best. We don't try our best. It's that little word, try and trying again. Because if you're trying your best, trying to do your best, bad combination, you aren't going to succeed because you're using that word try, which implies the possibility of failure. So I did my best, yes. And I have to say that about that little bird that I had on video a few days ago, my little lodger. Um, I, I, I'm calling him him, I don't know whether it was a he or a she. Um, I fed him, I gave him love, I kept him warm, I kept him clean. Um, but sadly, after a couple of days, he died. And I had sat up at one morning, <laughs> cuddling him in a little baby blanket, stroking him and talking to him and giving him love and Reiki. But I don't know whether he was injured. I have a feeling that he was carrying an injury. But also, was he pining for his real mum? I didn't fit the bill, obviously, but I did my best. I changed his water bottle during the night to keep him warm and fed him all through the days. I was going bananas because I'd be halfway through something. I thought, oh, time for another feed, <laughs> and on I'd go. So I did my best, but Mother Nature and that little bird, they were part of the whole picture. I wasn't the only one involved. So I did my best. And sometimes to achieve that doing of our best, we have to think out of the box. Um, there might be things holding us back, like you might have, you might not have the finances to do something that you really want to do, that you want to try your best at, 
you want to do your best at. You might live in the wrong area to do your best at something. Maybe you are um, a great swimmer and want to progress with that, to do your best, to give of your best. But if you haven't got a pool nearby, then that becomes difficult. Say she who used to drive early mornings to squad swimming training and sit next to a pool on many, many occasions. <laughs> but I did my best. My son decided that actually he didn't like galas, so didn't want to do it anymore. So maybe he didn't do his best, but I wasn't going to argue with him even though he was a really excellent swimmer. But that's water under the proverbial bridge. So, do your best. Don't be dismayed if it doesn't work. Because, as I said, there can be other factors involved. We can only be sure that our best will be good enough if we are the only factor we know what we're doing. We know what we're going to be doing. We know how to do it. So, sometimes our best is good enough. Sometimes we have to accept that, sadly, it isn't. So long as we're not trying to do our best. That's the main thing to remember. But take care and I will speak to you soon. And I now want to swap chairs, but Mishka is fast asleep on the other one. <laughs> so I will have to do my best to tempt him out of it, maybe with a few treats, rather than picking him up and moving him, in which case he'll be sticking pins in my effigy. <laughs> so thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Take care and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.